Good day, welcome for new presentation in ease and different radiology. Today, my presentation number 29 from tips and hints about the jejunization of the ileum, atrialization of the ventricle, or by another meaning, the changing of the mucosa in some tissues. And uh, these presentations uh, will be short and fast. So let's start our presentation. First is the jejunization of the ileum, and this jejunization of the ileum is uh, representing the pattern of increased number of the ileal folds and reduced number of the jejunal folds, or, or by another meaning reverse of the uh, arrangement of the folds between the ileum and jejunum. And this pattern is one from the signs or the most famous signs for diagnosing of celiac disease. It can be diagnosed in the small bowel, follow through studies CT and MRI. <coughs> celiac disease in this case of the barium follow through showing the duodenum and the jejunum in the uh, left upper quadrant of the abdomen, which is showing a little bit a smaller number of the uh, folds compared with the ileum which is seen in the left lower quadrant of the abdomen which is showing multiple folds and increase the number of folds compared with the uh, uh, jejunum and this pattern is called the jejunization of the ileum and this pattern is one from the most famous signs diagnosing the celiac disease it can be seen also by MRI study which have a, a lesser uh, uh, exposure of radiations because it is uh, depend on MRI and uh, it's showing also the same finding of increased number of folds in the jejunal loops in the ileal loops compared with the jejunal loops which have uh, a smaller uh, parts or smaller amount of folds and this pattern also which is called jejunization of the ileum. What about the atrialization of the ventricle? The atrialization of the ventricle is representing due to or occurring due to abnormal displacement of the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, resulting in atrialization of the parts of the ventricular wall and uh, above uh, that valve, and uh, this which is called the atrialization of the ventricle. This sign is one from the most famous signs to diagnosing the epistin anomaly, and uh, this uh, anomaly is a cardiac anomaly can be diagnosed by chest X-ray, echocardiography, CT, and MRI. Both signs, it realizations and uh, generalizations, it depends on changing of the mucosa of the tissue and reversing the patterns of the uh, mucosa. And in the Bistin anomaly, this uh, 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 the chest X-ray, which is showing the heart, uh, and uh, this uh, uh, abnormalities is. Uh, uh, summarized in uh, as a follows abnormal tricuspid valve resulting in tricuspid valve regurgitations and this resulting in enlarged the right atrium which appearing in the right side of the heart as increased bulging of the heart in right side uh, so this needs to uh, defect in the between the atrial uh, walls uh, so uh, in the form of the patent form of oval or atrial septal defect and this defect resulting in also increasing the size of the right ventricle and this resulting in elevation of the heart apex and this part this uh, 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 abnormality of the heart uh, uh, appeared like a box shape due to bulging of the heart from both sides and box shaped heart is one sign to diagnosing a patient anomaly due to uh, abnormal tricuspid valve or by another meaning atrialization of the ventricle. At the end of my presentation, I hope I provide you with clear knowledge about both jejunization of the ileum and atrialization of the ventricle. You can watch more than 150 presentations and videos in my uh, easy and different radiology YouTube channels. Thank you very much for your watching and have a nice day.